Babu is a painter. She's a free spirit. She just wants to make art and share her art. And she also paints on jackets. Let me show you one. So this is a limited edition Babu original Spice Girl. Um, and yeah, Babu just paints. Even though my art is really fun and it's all about being empowered by brown women, a lot of it has to do with activism that I believe in. And a lot of that has to do with mostly what goes back home, which is in India. Um, and lately, my grandfather, so backstory, my grandfather was a farmer and a lot of my cousins and uncles in India are still farmers. And unfortunately, the government is kind of taking away a lot of the rights that give them the freedom to do farming and sell their, you know, crops. Um, so they've been actually on the streets of Delhi uh, for eight months. And it's something that's really close to my heart because my cousins are on the site themselves. And that's something that I've kind of made a priority to include into my artwork. But aside from that, I truly believe in like raising voices for especially the younger generation. And for me, foremost, like it's always been about to empower women, brown women especially, and to let them know that like if I can do this, you can do it better. Like I didn't even have like a blueprint to follow, but now you have so many people to look up to, to Google, to go on LinkedIn and just like even do it better than like the way we're doing it. So I think um, the whole point of my art is obviously to share beautiful art, but also to like make sure that like the next generation has all the resources and the inspiration to like get to the places they want to go to. So Bad Beatty was a campaign I did with another artist from Toronto, Hate Poppy. And the whole idea was that, you know, uh, within the South Asian community especially, um, girls are seen lesser or they're restricted more from opportunities from, you know, their male partners. So Bad Beatty was this whole concept of like, you know, we're, we're these beautiful, strong, independent women and we're gonna, you know, just kill it with our talent, which is obviously within the arts. And it just was to inspire other kids that like, you know what, do whatever you want to do, be bad about it, be bold about it, and like, don't apologize for like, what you believe in. And that's not, like, that's basically like the whole idea of bad Beatty, and like, Beatty basically means daughter in the Hindu um, text. You want to hear the funny story? <laughs> so, um, we were in New York and we had a show for actually bad Beatty, and we were like, you know, since we believe in this concept so much, let's get it tattooed. And so we went to like the first tattoo shop that we found, and obviously I got it on my butt cheek, specifically the right line. And obviously, um, you know, some people don't really say Beatty as in like what it's supposed to like be set at. So like, you know, a lot of people when they do see it, it's bad Betty. So now my New York alias name is Betty. And my whole thing when I go to New York is like my dad's rich. And so like even if it's my credit card, it's like my dad's paying for this. It was a really fun, exciting time for me because I had just graduated from OCAD. It was like my first year into like going into arts and I was like this young, you know, just passionate about like what I want to do next. And luckily a lot of things were like coming my way. And we got a chance to do an art show in London. And we went and you know, when you're young, you're careless. You're just like, I'm just gonna go do a show. We'll just figure it out. It's gonna be great. And it did, and it was great. Um, it was my first show in London and we had over about like a thousand people show up. And that was great. It ran for a week and it was something that even I didn't expect. Like even now when I do a show, I'm always like, is someone gonna come? Is someone gonna show up? And I love that feeling. And as soon as the show ended, we're like, okay, we have three more days. Let's just go party, let's just go have fun. And as soon as we got into our Airbnb, we got this email and it, I forget the person's name, but they're like, hey, I'm from Mindy's team and we want your artwork. And I'm like, this guy's bullshitting. Like, <laughs> like someone's definitely playing a prank on me. And like for like half an hour, I was like huffing and puffing. Then the next half an hour is like, should I reply back? And then literally like an hour later before we even responded, we got an order off our website. And then the same person emailed back saying like, hey, we got 
the order, can you please make sure that like you send it to us ASAP? And then it kind of like started like sitting in and then Mindy starts following you and then Mindy wears your jacket. I was like over the fucking moon. <laughs> like it was just a week of like fairy tale almost for any artist. Cause it's like you do your first show abroad so many people show you love, you're pretty much sold out of your paintings, and to end it all off, like Mindy like buys your work, and not only buys it, but like puts it on her Netflix show, so I think for me, that was definitely a milestone. Probably still the one that gives me butterflies. Um, but since then, I've been fortunate enough to work with celebrities and have my work worn by celebrities. Um, but the one thing that I always tell myself is like, if I feel like this is enough, then I haven't done my job as an artist. So I'm always happy and excited to do what's next. Um, after Mindy, there were a couple of LA celebrities that wore them. Um, my work has been shown in like a couple of galleries that are well known. And then obviously Bollywood has supported my work as well. Um, one of my favorite people in the world, Rhea Kapoor, she wore a lenga. And I got to do a really cool collaboration with Namika Khanna, which was really dear to my heart because I think for me to be recognized in the country I was born in was more important than like getting recognition from anywhere else in the world. So I would probably say like Mindy Kaling, Rhea Kapoor, and Namika Khanna were like my favorite collaborations of all time. And obviously, Diljit Dosanjh wore my jacket on TV, and he's like a mega Punjabi superstar, so that was cool. Uh, the one that I honestly use on a daily basis is to like think creative, but think on the spot. So like, um, if something isn't working out, like, don't think too much on it. Let's figure out a solution, and let's figure it out creatively. And I think teamwork was like one of those things. And even when we kind of came together to do this photo shoot, we were on like a very strict, like, you know, timeline and deadline. But the fact that like everyone came together to come up with this like amazing idea, but then to also execute it is something that like, I don't think you can just learn from going to any other, you know, program. So definitely thinking creatively on the spot was like my biggest thing. I would probably say gain your independence and then pursue what you want to do. Because if you're dependent on somebody else to take care of you, you're never going to be able to take care of your dreams. And I think that was like the biggest lesson for me too. As soon as I got out of OCAD, I was like, if I want to continue being an artist and if I want to continue doing what I want to do, I cannot depend on my parents to, you know, provide a roof over my head or to like, you know, even simplest things like pay for my art supplies. So it's like, if you really want to pursue something, focus on becoming independent and then focus on making your dreams come true.